I'm Steve Parrott. One of the biggest questions is, check nymphing, what waters do you look for? I grew up on the East Coast in Western North Carolina. Super effective method for freestone streams we have there, as well as the tailwaters that flow below dams. So there's really no limitations to where you can fish this method. The idea is you want to keep a low profile. I'll wear knee pads with shin guards. I'll be on my knees. I've even laid on my stomach to catch these fish. We've all been on rivers and we've seen that heron. And he's just standing on the bank really still or he's crouched down, his head's down, and he picks his feet up. Very methodical movement when he's hunting, searching for fish. That's exactly what we do in this method. We become too dependent on indicators, relying on something else to tell us when we have a take or a strike. This is straight line nymphing. You're relying on sight. You're relying on feel. That way you become more in tune with the river and you become a better all-around nymph fisherman. In The Complete Angler, written by Sir Isaac Walton, he's basically stalking his fish. He didn't have access to indicators. There were no indicators. Flies, a little bit of weight on the line, getting them down, staying really in tune with the river, with the fish, watching what's going on. This is about as pure as you can get to that. The Czech nymphing method is actually founded by the Polish. It was a competition between the Polish, a team from East Germany, and a Czechoslovakian team. It was on the Dunajek River, 1989, and the Polish cleaned house. So after the competition was over and the Polish had been crowned the winner, they started talking with a couple members of the Czech team, and the Czechs were real interested in what they were doing. And they found out that the Polish had basically tippet material tied to the end of their fly rod. There was no fly line. They were fishing two flies, standard caddis patterns on a curved hook. They were light green, dark green, and that's what they were using. The Czechs continued to refine it with resources to hooks, fly lines, better tying materials. It's a super effective method. It's fun to fish. It's not hard, but it does take a little getting used to. But with anything, practice makes perfect. You'll become a better angler, and you'll have another tool to catch fish. Do I need special gear to do this? If you have a nine foot, four weight, five weight fly rod, you can check me. Is it beneficial to have a longer rod? The longer rod is gonna give you more reach, it's gonna give you more line control because we're not mending here. We're just lifting the line off the water, we're holding it up. The lighter the rod and the better the balance is on the entire system, that's what you're looking for. Because imagine holding your arm out all day, check nymphing with an unbalanced rig. If you're constantly fighting to hold the tip up, you're gonna have a really sore arm at the end of the day. So, do you need specialty equipment? The answer is no. Is it nice to have? Absolutely. Is this a good technique for beginners? When you're first starting out, you don't have to cast 50 feet to do this method. You just have to lob it upstream and be able to move your rod, keep it tight, and go from there. You don't have to move a lot. And, you'll, and the guys that are moving a lot upstream really fast, you'll want to fish right behind them because they're leaving all kinds of fish for you. I found myself when I first started fishing this method, I was on my knees a lot, uh, crawling around on rocks, on the banks. People are going to laugh at you when they see you on the stream, but just tell them you're a hunter. Check Nymphing 101. Everything you need to know about Czech, Polish, French, and Spanish nymphing techniques. Techniques that'll have you taking trout out of waters that you've never been able to fish before. There's great on-stream instruction. Line rigging. A step-by-step -step fly tying segment. And much, much more. All from America's foremost expert on European techniques, Steve Parrott. Be sure to order your DVD today.